Welcome, race fans, to this edition of Post Time at Portland Meadows. Tom Harris, Bob Travers joining you on this Racing Tuesday. Bob, uh, wow, we've been awfully lucky with the weather so far. Knock on wood. Let's hope that continues. Uh, track going to be, I think it was wet fast this morning. May get to fast before uh, post time and 10 races on today's uh, program. So, uh, hey, had a good day. Both of, uh, both of us had a good day on Sunday. Five wins apiece. Uh, absolutely. You know, sometimes, you know, you, you, you get it right. However, uh, three of mine came on the quarter horses, which I don't know why. I don't really follow it that much, but I guess sometimes you get lucky in this well, game. Better to be lucky than good, they say. And uh, of the five winners, uh, we were we were different on a couple of the races, too, which uh, uh, is always uh, fun and interesting. Uh, today's program, as mentioned, 10 races. We kick off with maiden claimers going five furlongs in the opener. I went with uh, the outside horse, Go Far, Go, Go. This one's been knocking at the door uh, earlier in the year. Now, this is the first time she's been out since uh, the last meeting here at Portland Meadows, and so that's going to be the, the big question mark. But, boy, the last season, that 2017-2018 that spanned over into January, uh, was sure good for Go Far, Go, Go. Uh, yeah, I, I had, a, you know, I could I could have taken this horse. I could have taken my horse, which is number four. She's a bazinga. Uh, I think they're pros both evenly matched in this race, and um, if you notice, it's the same trainer on both. So I went with the odds on that. So I All took right. number four. She's a bazinga. Double duty for trainer Sharon Balcom in the paddock for the opener as we turn to the second race of the day, second half of the early daily double. This is six furlongs and a field of seven to go postward. I'm going to go with a horse that you picked last time out that I think is improving, getting a little better, and that's Perla Bella, the three horse. Uh, yeah, uh, we're we're in agreement on that one for sure. That was my top pick. Um, number three, I think, just off the pace should work today. All right, we're in agreement on Perla Bell in the second, third race around two turns, going a mile. Uh, I tell you what, Zoom Bada Boom's an Al racehorse. He loves this track. He's two for two here on the season. I think he does it again. Uh, yeah, good pick. Uh, again, this was a toss-up, but I went with the speed. I noticed in this race, uh, not a whole lot of speed, so I went with number five. I know your face. Uh, dueled last time out. I don't see a duel happening in this race, so I think it's wire to wire, number five. All right. We turn the page to the fourth race. This is a six furlong sprint. Uh, I like Pebble Beach. Pebble Beach looked really good last time out at five furlongs. Uh, Going to stride out to six panels here today. The last race, uh, winner by two lengths. I think the extra distance, of course, is the question mark here. You get Patrick Henry Jr. up. Yeah, and you're going to get a short price, I'm sure. So I went with number two, Hot Gem, which will be another short price. I, again, I went with the speed on this. Should get out easily. All right. On to the fifth race, halfway through the card here as we uh, have that midday pick three starting here. I like the seven split the difference. This is a horse I think just needed that last race, but did end up second uh, in the race. Opened up at Emerald Downs back in August and uh, trained by Debbie Peary. Robert Bernie has the call. Robert Bernie's had a fantastic season. Uh, yes, he has. I think he's going to have a great day today. I like that horse, but I had to go a little contrarian. Um, everybody's coming back to these horses uh, except for number three. Number three uh, changes up the jockey, so they're trying something different. So I put number three pre-talk on top. Okay, the pre-talk for Bob's selection in the fifth. We go to the sixth race. Uh, this is a five furlong dash and a field of ten to go postward in this one. Brandolina has very good early speed and uh, uh, this one trained by Linda Northam's had two starts on the meeting and has been right there both times. I'm going to go with uh, Brandolina to close the deal here today. Uh, closing the deal is the hard part for this horse. <laughs> this horse just got second itis, second yeah. itis, second itis. So again, you know that's what happens when you're an off the pace horse. Right. So I went looking for uh, an alternative, and I found number four, annual reward. This horse is dropping down. I think he can be comfortably off the pace, right with Brandolina top of the stretch. I think he takes off. Number and four. twelve to one on you top know of it, it buddy. All. Okay, seventh race on the card, five and a half furlongs here. 
Uh, I like Ventastic in this race. This horse has uh, taken a real liking to this track. Did well at Emerald, too, to close out the campaign there. Uh, two very nice efforts here, both at five furlongs. I don't think the extra half furlong will be a, a factor here for the Son of Lucky Pulpit. Well, I think Ventastic, uh, excellent pick, but I think the speed is going to be a little tougher than last time. So I went, again, looking for an alternative. I found number 10, Royal Knight. Again, a horse that's dropping down, has never been in the 2,500 level. So I think that might help him out. Number 10, Royal Knight. Royal Knight had a good stay on the Oregon Fairs, put together back-to-back -back winners out on the fair circuit. Eighth race today, five furlong run, and uh, another uh, good field size, field of nine to go postward. I went to the far outside post with California Flash. Uh, th this horse has been an off and on sort this year, but if he clears early, I think he's very dangerous on the lead. Uh, absolutely, but I noticed there was a lot of horses that had already run against him in this race. So I went again looking for an alternative, uh, but I went with Hot Tub. I think Hot Tub um, actually gets out front today and wins this race. And Hot Tub had just finished ahead of California Flash uh, in a recent outing. Those two have uh, seen each other before. Uh, in fact, finished second in that last race. California Flash was third. Ninth race, a distance of five furlongs, and uh, here we have a, a full field of ten to go to the gate as well. Well, I went with Bert and Ernie, a horse, kind of a horse for the course here. Three starts on this oval at Portland Meadows is one, two of those three. Uh, nothing wrong with Bert and Ernie. Um, again, though, I went and looked for some inside speed. Number four, uh, Fly High Gary. I think this horse is on a win-lose, win-lose, win-lose trajectory, and I think he's on win today. All right. Bert and Ernie, I think, is the word of the day. <laughs> All right. Well, Sesame Street uh, nostalgia there going back. All right, the tenth and final a mile 70 yards i went to the inside with latitude 42 Lionel camacho flores uh knows this horse pretty well they've been knocking at the door in the two starts locally inside post i think uh, a big plus here i went with the uh shipper uh number four snappy jack i don't see a whole lot of speed in this race i think he's the only horse that really wants to go to the lead so shipping in uh for jonathan nance uh, zanino uh number four Snappy Jack. Okay, well, a good back class angle for sure on Snappy Jack coming up from Golden Gate. Well, speaking of, speaking of angles, though, on this race, I took the eight horse. Now, uh, I don't want people to get real upset with me because this horse looks like this horse can't be anywhere. But if you notice on this, this horse, go back to Portland Meadows. This is the one time he had a great race. He had his mile and then a mile again. Last race was horrible, a mile 70 again. Watch out for number eight, and I think Mr. Bernie's going to have a good day today. Okay, well, perhaps long the, shot. the Very long, long shot, shot there for the bounce effect. Couldn't, I couldn't put him on number one, though. <laughs> <laughs> no guts, no glory, big time, Bob. Well, All he came right. in second last time. That's so. pretty good. That's yeah. pretty good. Don't forget, you can pick up a copy of the Bob Handicaps. Uh, a great uh, free selection sheet, and you can pick it up on the main level of the grandstand. And so be sure to stop by and pick yours up today. Say hello to big-time Bob Travers while you're there. We'll be back with the race day coming up.